Kenneth Thespian Boxing. Let's speak boxing. Let's talk about Manny Pacquiao. Let's talk about Floyd Mayweather. Yes, uh, I get a headache too speaking about these guys. It, it, I'm tired. I get frustrated even talking about these guys. But I have to talk about them. Why do I have to talk about them? Because they're the biggest names in boxing. They're boxing right now. They're the face of boxing. You know, number one, number two slot debate. Who's the top pound for pound? And I have to see that mega fight. We have to see that mega fight. So. We have to speak about them. Keep you updated. Let you know what's going on. Everyone knows Mayweather got out of jail Friday. Um, as of right now, as we speak, Bob Arum speaking with Manny Pacquiao. Hopefully can, he can settle a deal um, for his November 10th matchup. Now, who's who do they have lined up for the matchup? Um, Timothy Bradley, Miguel Cotto, and um, Marquez. Um, Bob Arum, obviously, is flying up there, one-on-one. He wants to see that Marquez fight. Why does he want to see the Marquez fight? Because Marquez fight actually brings the most money, and he makes more money. Um, Cotto fight, Cotto fight makes more money as well, so he has two people, two aces in his, in, the, in his back pocket. Who does Pacquiao want to fight? Pacquiao wants to fight uh, Timothy Bradley. He has unfinished business. Timothy Bradley took his belt. And you know he took it personal, so that's definitely who want to, That's who Pacquiao wants to fight. Um, Bob Aaron wants to preach to the world, saying that hey, you know what? It's really up to Manny Pacquiao, and Manny Pacquiao want quote unquote saying I want to meet Bradley. So there's no need for him to fly up there. The only reason I see for him to fly up there is to sell him. You know he put on his you know he has seven suits for the whole entire week. They're all used car salesman suits. Has his his white shirts, blue shirts. And his tie, and he's ready to sell. He's ready to sell Mr. Manny Pacquiao the fact that, hey, Juan Marquez and Miguel Cotto is the people that you should be fighting. You know? Um, well, that's that. Um, what, what other stuff's going on with Manny Pacquiao? His lawyer, his lawyer went quote-unquote saying, you know what? Um, they might spark a deal with uh, Mayweather. Because Bob Arum said there's, a, there's high hopes, there's a big possibility and a big chance. Once again, he's teasing the boxing fans out there, letting us know that, hey, next year we might score this mega fight. Now, Bob Arum went ahead and, you know, had the, had the offer out there on the table, the 45, 45, and 10. 45 for Mayweather, 45 for Pacquiao, and 10 goes to, uh, to the house. Um, that was a decline. That was a decline quick. Um, and they countered. They countered another offer. And that definitely, you know, 60-40 is not going to happen. Um, but anyways, uh, Bob Arum, go back to Bob Arum. Bob Arum saying that um, 50 Cent TNT promotions is it, it, a high possibility that they're going to fight early 2013. If they go ahead and fight early next year, that they might go ahead and just November 10th matchup coming up, they're going to completely wash it. They're going to completely wash it out. Um, does that make sense? That really doesn't make sense because I don't see Mayweather taking that fight early next year. I, I see him taking on an opponent before, you know, a little tune-up fight before he goes ahead and fight Manny Pacquiao. At least that's what I would like to see. Why would I like to see that? Because just in case it Mayweather, we're trying to eliminate all the excuses, guys. If Mayweather loses, then uh, you guys know what's going to happen. You know what? Uh, Pacquiao only won just because Mayweather was in jail. Mayweather is rusty. Uh, Mayweather's too old. These guys are not in their prime. Look, both of these guys are nearly past both, you know, their primes. Okay? Um, I understand Pacquiao. It doesn't have that fire like he used to when he fought De La Hoya. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, I'm reading, you know, I'm listening to all these comments. A lot of Pacquiao fans and a lot of fans in general saying that Pacquiao is not the same Pacquiao. He doesn't have the same fire. Well, Mayweather is not the same Mayweather and he doesn't have the same fire anyway, as well. Um, um, Pacquiao is getting slower. Look, if anything, Mayweather's older. So just keep that in mind. Um, so at least Pacquiao always has that advantage. Always has that advantage. So no matter what you say, um, you think uh, Pacquiao's out of his prime, Mayweather's definitely more out of his prime. So that just completely makes that excuse. So the longer, because for some reason, this is the fun, and I'm, I'm a huge Pacquiao fan. For some reason, people think everyone in the sport of boxing doesn't age besides Manny Pacquiao. That's it. Um, it's just, you know, as Manny Pacquiao gets older, um, they feel like uh, uh, Mayweather's at an advantage. They're forgetting that Mayweather's older. You know, he's getting old too. 
you know. But anyways, what's going on with the Mayweather side? Mayweather side, he just got out of jail, obviously. We're still waiting for him to get interviewed, for him to pick his next opponent. You know, he's striking a lot of business. Yes, he's part of TMT Promotions as well, so he does have a say as far as the signers. I know they've been really busy. 50 has been really busy uh, promoting, signing new fighters, um, setting up venues and getting everything um, set up so he can he can launch his promotion company. You know, um, what's what's the next announcement as far as him coming out of jail? Who's going to fight? Nobody knows right now. Nobody has no idea on what's going on. The only slim, close idea that we do have is is uh, is him fin possibly fighting Andre Berto. Now, that's saying that uh, they get reinstated, you know? They get reinstated. Why? Because uh, uh, Mayweather just went to jail, and Berto got fill, filled his drug test, you know? So he they, they both have to get reinstated um, and see how that goes. Um, as far as Cotto, Cotto could possibly fight Mayweather. You know, there could be a possible Cotto fight in December. Um, Cotto already has his venue set up in New York, um, but I, I still think, I, I have a feeling that Cotto might take Canelo because Canelo's calling out Cotto or calling out Mayweather. So I, I would definitely like to see that. Um, who do I think Mayweather's going to fight? I don't think he's going to fight Cotto. I think that, that fight, him coming out of jail is just... Uh, if you know, he he needs a tune-up fight before he fights Manny Pacquiao. He definitely needs a tune-up fight between if he fights Cotto because Cotto is definitely not a tune-up fight. That fight that he had, and you know, a lot of <laughs> a lot of I read the comments. You know, I, I go quote unquote, and I went ahead and said that uh, Cotto definitely gave Mayweather a run for his money, and obviously I pissed off a lot of Mayweather fans. And they were saying, are you blind? You know, Cotto, Cotto got dominated. Look, I'm not blind. I'm perfectly fine. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not biased to the fact, you know, I'm a huge Mayweather fan. You know, I've run with Mayweather. I, I'm a huge Mayweather fan. But I'm going to see it for what it is. Cotto actually it has nothing to do with being blind. It's not, you know, obviously if you, if, if you, you, you have Mayweather... You know, on your lower back tattooed, you're all gonna, all you're gonna see is the connecting punches that Mayweather landed. That's it. You're not even gonna see the activity from Cotto. You know, if you if you go to sleep and you wake up with a Manny Pacquiao poster above your, above your head, and you, you sleep with a Manny Pacquiao pillowcase and covers, obviously every time Manny Pacquiao fights, you're not gonna see any punches that the opposing opponent um, landed against Manny Pacquiao. You're just gonna be biased to the fact. Um, yes, Cotto gave Manny Pacquiao a run for his money. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't see him um, taking on that fight. Um, I, I see him taking on Andre Berto. You know, I see him taking on Andre Berto or Guerrero. That's, that's who I see. I don't see him fighting Sa Saul Canelo Alvarez. That's not going to happen. I don't see him coming up in weight and meeting at a catch weight after Julio Cesar Chavez and Sergio Martinez fight. You know, meeting one of those guys, the winner at a catch weight, that fight's definitely not going to happen. I don't see Mayweather doing that. Now, I'm a huge Mayweather fan, but if Mayweather ever comes up and waiting, he either fights Julio Cesar Chavez or Sergio Martinez, and I'm tired. Like, honestly, I'm just tired of reading about stuff like that. I'm tired of um, boxing fans saying that, hey, what? you know, Mayweather's just like Pacquiao. You know, he came up a, a lot. You know, there's, there's a certain extent that these guys are just just too big. I don't. I can give two shits if they if they come down and meet him. They're just too big, you know. Um, if Mayweather takes on Sergio Martinez, Sergio Martinez is gonna knock him out. You know, if 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 Chavez, you know, with, you know Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. You know when he steps into the ring, he he, he's, shit, man. This guy this guy is heavy as shit. You know, I see Chavez just. It doesn't matter what Mayweather does. Mayweather can do his little shoulder roll or whatever he wants to do. Chavez is just going to fucking dislocate his shoulder, man. This guy is just too big of a fighter. I don't see Mayweather. Not, yeah, man, you can be quick all you want, but there's going to be, you know, I think Chavez is just too big for him. It's just way too big. Both, I think both of them fighters will beat Mayweather, hands down. Um, but, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's not an even playing field. Um, so that's completely out the picture. Um, 
guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is Kenneth. You know, who, who, who's these opponents? That Who do you think uh, Mayweather should fight next? Do you think he should fight Canelo Alvarez next? Do you think he's going to fight Andre Berto? Do you think he's going to fight Timothy Bradley? Do you think he's going to fight Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and say that because I bet you I'm going to have some people say, hey, he's going to fight Julio Cesar Chavez. Um, Miguel Cotto, do you think he's going to fight Sergio Martinez? Um, Robert Guerrero? If none of those fighters, then shit, who do you think he's going to fight? As far as Pacquiao as well. Um, guys, uh, subscribe, friend request. This is Kenneth, that's being boxing. Have a